What is up, Lil Num Nums? King Num Num here, bringing you guys some Priestess gameplay. I got two co-op matches to be showing you guys today. And for now, we're gonna work with the hospital one. Now, starting off, I did get the key spawn. Top of ruins equals statue window. I did see it was a Wu Chang, and I am dueling with CQI. I'm communicating to this, um, that he was teleporting, and obviously he teleported on the mercenary, which is unfortunate from the hunter's perspective, but for the survivors, it is really, really clutch. Sets us up for Cypher Rush, etc. You see with this team cop, we're running with Mechanic because she's obviously broken. Then we got my Priestess, and we got Mercenary, and then we got Perfumer. I, like, I think the Perfumer really, really changed it up because, you know, we rarely see it these days, especially with the meta nowadays. And if you don't know the meta, I'm thinking about making a tier list soon, but I'm not sure. Amazing elbow pad by CQI. I was going to get smacked there. But from here, the Hunter's like, you know what? I'm going to stop chasing the Mercenary. And I see you see that I do have a portal set up already on my cipher, just in case he teleports right on top of me. I end up getting that heartbeat. I know he's in white form, and I'm not sure if he has blink or teleport yet. So at this point, I'm like, all right, five cipher kite easy. But then he ended up teleporting away from me, which was the smartest move by the Wu Chang. You're going to see that he will be on the perfumer. Sorry about the lag a little bit. I'm not sure why he does that. You know, the game's a little wonky ever since Koa's came. And I know a lot of people have been lagging. But in these two matches, you know, it was okay for me. I think it's slowly starting to get better with the server. See here that the perfumer will end up making this right here. Ends up perfuming because I, I really don't know why. I'm just going to be completely honest. Maybe they thought they had blink even though they got teleported on. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it'd be like that. You know, they're about to get the perfume back. But unfortunately, on the survivor side for perfumer, she ended up just getting it back but not in time. Um, amazing for the hunter so far. Right here, I know she started cutting to my cypher, and I was like, okay, okay. So I set up a portal for her just in case. And from here, I'm like, there's no way she can't kite an extra 30, an extra 20. I'm like, okay, let me just go over to her cypher. And, you know, she's doing a decent kite so far. You know, it's looking pretty good for us. And from here, she ends up dropping the pallet immediately. Hunter gets mind gamed right there. But she ends up actually getting terror shocked, feeding him more presents. And I was like, dang, that's so unfortunate. You see there that the mechanic ended up finishing their cypher. Ended up taking the bot towards the new one. Right here, CQI ciphers around 60. At this point, I'm like, all right, CQI, um, you can go for the rescue, and, you know, I'll just keep decoding. It's looking like a win situation so far. But then my man ends up actually teleporting straight to me. And, of course, I'm like, what the who and the why? And then, boom, you see the portal to basement. If you guys portal in the basement and die quickly, do not blame me, okay? It probably was my fault, but we don't talk about that. He ended up belling there, but I ended up getting the portal off in time. And right here, it was fr so frustrating for me that I saw the mechanic near me. I'm like, what What are you doing? I'm like, why would you rotate towards the hunter? But, you know, sometimes it just be like that. So they're obviously going to end up eating a hit here. And then they end up cutting right back to the cypher. And I'm just like, pain. Actually pain. Actual pain. So I ping get out of here. They say I'm out of here. And I'm like, all right, say less. So I'm like, all right, let me just decode. They end up getting teleported on. And I'm getting smacked really, really fast. So I'm like, okay, it's not looking too hot for us. Looking like more of a draw situation now. We see the perfumer opening a chest. Like, it's just looking all bad. But I'm like, you know what? Um, as long as the mercenary can pop his cypher, um, we'll just figure it out from here, you know. Now we're looking at a draw situation due to the mechanic rotating right to me and dying at one of my ciphers. You see this lag? Like, I can't even explain it. It wasn't this bad in the game. I, I went to record it twice. It was just playing with my emotions. But you see, the hunter's not on me anymore like that. It ends up smacking the mechanic's bot. So at this point, I'm like, let me go get this free rescue. And then you see him near me, and I'm like, don't worry about it. Portal, boom, I rescue, teleported, but I'm like, we're good. We out. Now the hunter's going to be on me like white and rice, I assumed anyways. But no, why wouldn't you chase the mechanic who's literally going to get clapped? As you should. Like, don't, don't lie, as you should. We see here that the perfumer's working on a new cypher, and I'm also working on one. So I told CQI, if you can't pop the cypher, then don't do it. We got two cyphers being worked on. But if you can, it's looking like a win situation. And he was like, you know what? Don't worry. I'll try my best, and I'll try to pop it. What happens? He ends up popping it just before, and ends up getting an elbow pad smacked to the face. And I'm just like, okay, good stuff, CQI. And he ends up getting the rescue. And at this point, I'm like, you know, the cyphers aren't close to being primed. You might have to take another hit so she can get out of basement. What does he do? Actually body block once for his life. Good stuff, CQI. So right now, it's looking pretty good for us. I'm like, the cypher's already primed. He's like, focus on a coding. I'm like, say less. 
He ends up getting a massive speed boost. So he's chilling right now. I think he's going to end up pushing hospital, but ended up getting clapped. From here, the hunter's like, you know what? It's going to take time for them to heal. Let me just go teleport somewhere else. At this point, I end up globaling the mercenary at Shackgate. You see the perfumer get teleported on. She ends up footballing all the way away. She's like, I'm not playing no games. I'm not wasting no time. And at this point, the gate's already open. And we just need the mechanic to heal and walk over towards us. And keep in mind, you guys, that all the perfumer has to do is cut around 10 to 20 seconds. And from there, it's already a three-man looking like a GG's. She ends up getting terror shocked again. This will not be the first time. But it works out, you guys, because the, me because the mechanic picked yourself up. Now we're chilling. Now it's GG's. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys do want to see next. I think I'll hit you guys with another Priestess gameplay tomorrow. Other than that, like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Then we'll be moving on to the next match. This time it will be going against a Bonbon bon on Lakeside. I think the key thing about that match was even with a presence Bonbon bon and you have nothing, you can still rescue. And you're going to see by this random pulling off the goaded, the most goaded thing I've ever seen a random do in their life. Right now, it's super, super snowy outside. It's COVID. I'm over here eating my chocolate chip cookies with my uh, milk. You know, we're just vibing, okay? You see here that the coordinator actually got the worst spawn when they spawn shore. At this point, they're like, I'm not wasting no time. End up shooting them from an upwards angle. I'm like, what is she playing right now? This can't be IDV. But you see here, she's going to immediately rotate super far away. She's like, I'm not staying big boat. I mean, personally, me. I'd be taking that window, I'd keep my gun, but you know, I can respect the random decision. Had to stop right there, think about their life. Now they're going to see that the hunter is actually leaving them. Ends up actually chasing um, CQI. I end up globaling on, I think that was the main reason. I'm thinking that the bomb bot definitely has teleport if he's acting a little sus like this. I'm like, at this point, like, he might teleport to um, the shitty corner. And, you know, I don't want to get caught lacking, you feel me? I don't want to throw nobody's match. CQI ends up communicating, you know, I'm trying to keep the hunter on me as long as possible, which I can respect that, my guy. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I might as well decode. I think the main thing about this is just waiting for him to use that first teleport. And hopefully he doesn't teleport on me. But, you know, my luck, you know, I don't even know why I expected him not to because, come on now. I always get played like Boo Boo the Clown. So you see here he ends up teleporting and I'm like, bruh, I'm so screwed. There was nothing I could do. So I tried a portal but ends up getting bombed. But the hunter actually thought I went through the portal, which actually worked out in my favor, you guys. So don't even roast me in the comment section. Y'all know I'm already a bot. See here, I almost get triple bombed there. But I end up dodging it. And from here, I'm going to ping help me because I'm like, let me get that owl. But I was like, do not give it to me right away. What do they do? Give it to me right away. Well, I don't even know what I expect anymore. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't even know how to ping for an owl. Um, even though I'm top 10 seer. When I play, I'm, you know, they ping help me, I spectate. But, you know, it is what it is, you guys. So you see here that the hunter's on me like white and rice. I tried to use the seer owl to push logs, but I didn't have enough time. I knew I was just going to eat a bomb there. So I was like, let me just, you know, I'm going to just eat it. I'm going to just keep pushing and figure it out from there. Hunter ends up doing an amazing job vaulting. You know, he's on me like white and rice. Like, I'm like, oh, God, he has confined space. It's not looking too hot for me. End up eating that bomb like a champ. He ends up having an up build, you guys. Keep that in mind. So I don't think he has trump card. He might have detention endgame. Those are stuff I'm actually thinking about during my kite and where I'm kiting to. I knew that I was going to feed him presence if I vaulted that window and got tear shocked. So he did not want that at all. I tried to get bombed, but he ended up smacking me in time. I ended up dying at the Sears Cypher, which was at 95%. So, you know, we ain't got no worries. We just need CQI to pop his Cypher and come rescue. CQI is like, nah, let me just come rescue. I want to come early. Keep in mind, his Cypher is 95%. So this was about a three Cypher kite. Keep that in mind. You know, 60 plus, you know, we're chilling. We're chilling. We, it's looking like a win situation, depending on how CQI rescues. If he insta farms me, automatic draw situation. If he goes with the double down, automatic loss situation. You know, those are just things you got to keep in mind. You see him go for the insta rescue. And what happens? I get insta farmed. And I'm like, I can't even blame you, CQI. I'd be scared to. So I'm like, all right, it's a draw situation. I'm going to just stay around where the cypher popped. I just don't want to feed him presents, you guys. So I'm going to try to run away as best as I can without giving him any free hits. Because the next person who's going to rescue, it's not going to be full presence. Who wants to rescue against a full presence bonbon? I know, sure as hell, I don't want to. So you see here that the coordinator will be working at shore. So CQI is going to go pop his 99% cypher and then go to shore. From here... The coordinator's really pinging, don't move on coming. 
And I'm like, oh my God, they got balls of steel. And what do they get? They get wanted as well? Somebody come get them. I'm like, okay, they're going to be my hero if they get this rescue. I don't know how they're going to do it. So you see here that the hunter's already pressuring her from really, really far away. From here, she already gets insta-bombed. That was an amazing chain bomb. I'm talking top 10 chain bombs. That definitely has to be top three, you guys. So at this point, I'm picking focus on a coating. Like, I just don't want them to get stuff. I'm, I'm talking, get away from me, please. You see here that they're going for it like a champ. End up uh, insta-rescuing. They got it just in time before they got terror shocked. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they just build different. So at this point, I'm like, CQI, pop the cypher. He ends up popping a little bit late because I knew that chain bomb was coming. But keep in mind that I don't think the hunter wants to chase me anymore because he's definitely going to get looped for the dub dub. So at this point, we see that the seer is just thinking about his life. He's like, hmm, what should I do? And then it actually starts moving again. I'm like, I don't know what they were doing. Probably lagged you guys, but you know, it is what it is. You see here that they're like, let me just take the kite. From here, I'm gonna end up actually globaling the mercenary close to the gate. Cause I always try to push for four mans now. Like that's my mentality if I can. So you see that the seer's doing an amazing job looping this um, area that nobody likes to kite to. But from here, the hunter's gonna be really, really disciplined and push the global portal. So I'm like, bro, do not open the gate at all. Like, get away from it. That's what I'm telling CQI. Because I'm like, he has teleport. He's going to come. CQI's like, nah, bro. I'm just built different. So what does he do? He ends up body blocking the coordinator so she could get out in time, which was actually really, really clutch. And at this point, it's definitely looking like a three-man. Sears opening the gate. I just got to get there. And from here, it is GG's. Hopefully, you all did enjoy these two gameplays. If you did, let me know in that comment section below. And let me know what you guys think about that survivor tier list. I'm really, really thinking about that. I feel like that'd be a cool thing that you guys could look at. Plus, remember, it'd just be all of my opinion. Other than that, you guys didn't forget it. Remember, guys, I'm Numer, and I'm out.